with the working of DHCP. The working of DHCP is divided into four types or categorized into four parts, namely DHCP discover, DHCP offer, DHCP request and the last one DHCP acknowledgement. What are these all? Let's discuss about that. First of all, consider a host or a client. While on the another side, you have a DHCP server. Now, you have to configure your host with the help of DHCP server. So that the first command comes into picture, it is the DHCP discover. It is the broadcast message sent from host to all the connected networks and all the servers so that yeah, one of them may be a DHCP server. The client broadcasts the message to check whether DHCP server is available or not. In the simple way, it searches for the DHCP server likewise. Hey, are you there? After this discover, the next command comes to the picture. It is the DHCP offer. From the name, we come to know that it is the offer, act of offering something from DHCP server to host. But what DHCP server will offer to the host? Once the DHCP server receives the message from client, it search into the pool for IP address and offer a particular IP address to the client. Means it is the act of offering an IP address to the host. In simple way, the DHCP server asks whether this IP address is okay to you, to the client or not. After this DHCP offer, the next command comes to the picture. It is the DHCP request. As an answer to the DHCP question asked by the DHCP server that whether this IP address is ok to you or not, the host or client will say that yes, this IP address is ok to me. Then will you please allocate that IP address to me or will you please assign that IP address to me to convey this, the host sends a DHCP request to the DHCP server. Here, if the offered IP address is OK for the client, then client requests the server to allocate that IP address to it for a particular lease. After the completion of the DHCP request, the next comes into picture, it is the DHCP acknowledgement. It is the act of acknowledging something that after request, the DHCP, DHCP server allocates that particular IP to that host and enter the record or the data into its database with that the this particular IP address is assigned to this particular host for a lease period of this much. So in the DHCP acknowledgement, as soon as the request message reach to the DHCP server, it allocate that IP to the client and enter the record in table. Along with the DHCP acknowledgement, DHCP server gives IP address, default gateway, subnet mask and a lease period to client or host. Means this is the act of acknowledging to the host that I have assigned you an IP address with all these things. So this is the acknowledgement. So friends, here the working of DHCP concludes. It is very easy to memorize, to remember all the steps and the working of the DHCP. You just need to remember four words. Discover, Offer, Request and Acknowledgement. Let's interact or re let's relate these words into our day-to-day -day life. If one wants something from someone, it will find him or find that particular person. In the same way, 
host wants an IP address from the DHCP server, so it will find the host. So it the message sent for the very first time it is the discover. It is discovering for the DHCP server. After that discover gets completed, then the DHCP server put takes an IP address and offers something to the offers to the host that hey I am offering you this IP address. Is it is it okay to you? This is the offer message. After the offer message, when the DHCP, when the host or the client get that offer message, it is say that, yeah, buddy, the IP address is okay to me. And it requests to the DHCP server to retain that IP address or to allocate that IP address to me or to the particular host. This is nothing but the DHCP request. And after the DHCP request, the acknowledgement is it is just the confirmation that the this particular IP address is assigned to the particular host with all these factors with the gateway, subnet mask, and a lease period. This is nothing but the simple working of DHCP. Now let's some advantages of DHCP. First one, the IP address management becomes easier. The IP address management becomes easier in the sense that once the IP address get allocated to the host, the entry, that data of the host name, IP address and lease period will get entered automatically into the DHCP table without any human interference. So it is easy to manage all the IP address which are used and which are not used. Second one, IP allocation done dynamically without any human interference. As I told you earlier, that in the dynamic allocation in DHCP, there is no human interference. All the things done automatically, dynamically, machinerizedly, and very systematically. There is no human interference. It is the advantages of DHCP. The third one is that the IP address duplication is eliminated. This is the most important advantage of DHCP that the IP address duplication get eliminated because of which the IP conflict, the question of IP conflict get arised in the static address allocation is get resolved. So guys, in this way we have discussed the DHCP server, DHCP all the its allocation methods, static allocation, dynamic allocation, then it comes the IP conflict, uh, then drawbacks of the static allocation, different terminologies regarding the DHCP, working of the DHCP with four instructions or four, uh, four segments or parts, which is the discover, DHCP discover, DHCP offer, DHCP request, and DHCP acknowledgement. And at last, we have seen the advantages of the DHCP. So guys, here we have completed our discussion on the topic DHCP. If you like this video, then don't forget to hit the button like and subscribe the channel for more fantastic and edu more educational upcoming videos. Thank you guys.